Hey there, Internet. So today we're going to be talking about NL5. What is NL5? Well, NL5 is a circuit simulator. Um, it's a bit different from a lot of other circuit simulators because it is not based on SPICE. It is a, an ideal circuit simulator, which uh, means that you don't have to go and find a SPICE model for your specific part. Um, it runs really fast and it has fewer convergence problems. Um, so, what's the first thing we want to try? Well, let's try to simulate the first thing that everyone does in real life, which is probably lighting up an LED. And so, to light up an LED, what are we going to need? We're going to need a battery. So, we'll press V to get a voltage source. We'll press Enter. We'll press Enter again. And we'll set it to 9 volts. And we're going to press G to do a ground. Now, this red carrot thing here is the uh, keyboard pointer. So uh, one nice thing about NL5, it's you can do almost everything from the keyboard if you want. You don't have to use the mouse that much. Um, we'll press spacebar to start wire drawing mode. We'll press R to get a resistor. And then we'll press D to get a diode to simulate our LED. And we'll set our LED to 2.2 volts, which is green, I believe. And we'll put another ground to finish the circuit. So now we've finished our circuit. We want to simulate it. So we'll press F6. We'll rearrange our windows a little bit. We'll show the data table. And finally, we will pick some things to measure. Now, what's important in an LED circuit? Well, you want to make sure that you're not going to put too much current through your LED, and you want to make sure that you're not going to put too much power in your resistor. Because if you do that, something will burn up. So now that we've put our measurements in, we can press F6 again to run the simulation. And this window here is the uh, graph window. It's not very exciting because there's nothing changing over time in this circuit. If there was something changing, it would look like an oscilloscope um, with a graph of your power or voltage or current in a sine, sine wave kind of looking stuff here. Um, what we can use in this static circuit is the table and if we look in the table we can see that for the I or current for D1 which is our LED is 6.8 E minus 3 which means 6.8 milliamps and the power for R1 which is our resistor is 46 E minus 3 watts which is 46 milliwatts um, so now let's try something else. Let's do uh, something that common beginner mistake is to put two LEDs in parallel. So we'll go back here and we'll put a, another LED in. And we'll make that be a yellow LED. It's 2.1 volts forward I believe and we'll put a ground on it by pressing G again and we'll press spacebar again to connect up the wire so now we press F6 again oh forgot to measure add trace current press F6 and now we see something has changed our first LED D1 now has no current going through it D2 is stealing all the current. Now why is this happening? Well, uh, this is what happens when you try to run two LEDs in parallel. Because they have slightly different forward voltages, um, one of them will take all of the power and that one, the other one will either be not on at all or just barely on. And this one will be over using twice as much power so it will be twice as hot as you think it is. And uh, that's just not a good uh, 
that's just not a good situation so how can we fix this well we can fix it by adding uh, another resistor so we'll use the mouse this time and we'll move this resistor and we'll press control R to rotate it and then you can copy if you hold down control while you drag and we'll fix up that wire there and we'll run the simulation again now you see we've got a much better result we've got a D1 with 6.8 milliamps of current and D2 with 6.9 milliamps so that's just a really quick and simple introduction to NL5 um, in my next video we'll do something a little bit more interesting including uh, simulating things beyond just electricity.